Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video from May 14th, 2024. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of back and forth, um, ended up with the Dow being lower. However, we were able to squeeze out a little tiny gain in the S&P 500 and IWM was stronger on the day, but a little bit of uncertainty out there after a survey came in showing that, um, well, price expectations were going higher. So, well, let's take a look at what happened overnight. First off, we had Asian markets last night, kind of mixed, mostly lower with um, only the Nikkei and um, South Korea higher last night. Uh, we had Australia, we had Hong Kong, and we had Shanghai lower, um, but not none of these were huge moves percentage-wise, and simply because I think it's a hurry up and wait for the U.S. Um, inflation data. If we take a look at Europe, we've got kind of a similar thing going on there. We are uh, mixed, uh, mostly lower, with the FTSE just a little bit higher here this morning, but honestly, pretty flat in that trading in European markets this morning, waiting on US inflation data. And then of course, here in the United States, um, we were lower overnight, but as we see pretty much every day anymore, we try to pump it up here early on, and we've got uh, Dow and S&P 500 up just slightly while NASDAQ is down just slightly and a little bit of a mix on those futures. Again, really waiting for that PPI data. If we take a look at um, oil this morning, we've got oil a little tiny bit higher. Oil is only up about four cents at 79.16 a barrel. Brent's up three cents at 83.39 a barrel. And natural gas being down about two and a half cents this morning. Um, our precious metals are all stronger this morning. We had a rough day in gold yesterday, but we've got gold up this morning, uh, trying to push just a little higher. As a matter of fact, at this very second, the uh, gold futures were up $7.40 an ounce. We've got silver, copper, platinum, and palladium all up in the pre-market this morning. So keep a close eye on that. And then if we take a look at um, uh, crypto this morning, well, we've got a big reversal going on in that as well. Yesterday was a good day for the cryptos. Um, not so much today. Um, this morning we are down $1,447 a coin and mostly down across the board when it comes to cryptos um, today. And then looking at our bonds, well, our bonds probably aren't helping us out all that much this morning. Two-year bond sitting here at 4.84, our 10-year bond at 4.49, and our 30-year at 4.62. And just kind of hovering in here, um, holding its breath, waiting for that PPI data. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's uh, take a look at these charts and see if we can uh, figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. And well, let's shake off a little bit of bias and really take a good close look at these charts. Well, first off, taking a look at the diamonds, obviously a bearish engulfing candle coming into play right here is a little bit disconcerting because it is possible that that lower high in the chart could be the beginning of a downtrend. Now, I know no one is wanting to think like that. No one's wanting to, th to think that we're going to come all of this way back up and come so close to a breakout and then potentially fail. But a bearish engulfing candle really has to give us that um, little bit of pause 
and that possibility with that possibility that it does exist now that being said our economic data today and tomorrow could change this dramatically we could um, push right on through to the upside if we end up with data that um, supports the bulls if for some reason that data comes in worse than expected then we might see um, those bears engage and then we follow through kind of um, adding weight to the possibility of a lower high now that being said if we take a look at what we've got going on here if the bulls can continue to find inspiration well first thing we need to do is get right back above this little area of price resistance here in the chart and you can see here in the pre-market they're already trying to push just a little bit to uh, make that occur um, see if we can get things going up there but if um, we can push through there then I'm going to suggest coming back up to the top side of that candle here uh, from yesterday see if we can break through there and then of course if we do then we're looking up in here and maybe even those wicks and all-time highs coming in the market and certainly the PPI data could have the um, energy in it if that number comes in uh, better than expected and showing that inflation is easing um, of course if the opposite is true if those um, bears are engaged by that data today then just note that if we start breaking down below these um, yesterday's low support areas then we start coming down here into this next area of price support and we start moving progressively through these areas here to back to the downside and we do have to kind of keep in mind that we are quite elevated from our 50-day moving average so that possibility that it's fairly normal when you break through a major moving average like the 50-day you come back and you take a look at it and you test it the fact that we have elevated in such a big move to the upside could make that process pretty painful if you're long the market so be kind of careful here if those bears were to engage coming back toward that 50 um, could be well I could kind of pinch the wallet there just a little bit so um, be kind of watchful of that possibility if the inflation data is not good then let's take a look at our spy SPY also a um, little bit of bearishness coming in there. We ended up finishing the day, if you'll notice, just a tiny little bit higher. Not quite what you'd call a bearish engulfing candle. More of a candle of uncertainty. Maybe a little bit of a dark cloud cover. But if you um, take a peek here uh, where we are this morning, we're just underneath this little tiny resistance in the chart. And if the bulls can continue to find inspiration this morning, then pushing up through the top side of those candles would be the first step. And then I think we're probably up here testing uh, this area. As a matter of fact, I would say there's a possibility if the PPI uh, number comes in way better than expected, heck, we could gap up above this area first thing this morning and be at record highs first thing this morning and be looking at blue sky above. If, however, that number is on the bearish side and we engage those bears, first step would be uh, looking right in here, see if we can break the lows of those two little candles. And then we start pushing on down to test some levels here in the chart that uh, could be pretty significant as we start pushing down toward this trend because that would bring us back down toward that 50-day moving average here in the chart and uh, again could be a painful move because of the way we have so extended this move to the upside then let's take a look at our QQQ, QQQ, obviously trying to push. We broke out of this downtrend in here and we're trying to get a little bit going here this morning, trying to pump it up just a tiny little bit. We'll want to be watching that pretty carefully because if those bulls find um, inspiration here today in those numbers, then pushing right through this significant area of resistance would be very, very important. Um, for the market and that would set us up for those moves to come right on up and um, test um, all-time highs and possibly even break out once again I think we could have a number 
today that gaps us significantly in um, in in the the futures here this morning if um, if it comes in better than expected. Um, once again, if the bears were to engage here today, and you can see there's nothing bearish about that candle here yesterday, just a little bit of uncertainty possibly, I would suggest a pushback in here, we would start coming down into these levels first. <clears throat> There's a little bit of support right in here, and if that would hold, we're in great shape. If that were to fail and we come back down through here, well, we might give up that little trend break here in the chart coming back into some support levels. And then you can see as we start progressing on lower here, now coming back into that upside trend, and of course, um, a possible retest of that 50-day moving average. And then um, our IWM. IWM, kind of an inside day here yesterday, um, couldn't break out of the high, couldn't break down below the low. So if those bulls find inspiration here today, we're going to look at the top of these candles to see if we can break out of there. If we can, then we start looking at some areas here in the chart, maybe up in here, and then pushing straight on up into this major resistance, a multi-year resistance area in the chart watch that closely breaking above there is going to be incredibly important so if we had a really good ppi number shoot there's every reason to believe we could be right up there really quick if the bears however find inspiration today then we'll want to be watching this little area right in here there's a little bit of a congestion um, resistance support area in these recent candles breaking back down below here would probably push us back down toward that upside trend and a retest down into these levels here in the chart. Now, once again, you'll want to remember that may be just a retest of the 50-day moving average. You will want to note that down in here, if we drop below there, there is a gap that we could fall into, meaning that we could slip pretty hard in there and coming all the way back down to that trend and maybe breaking it as well. So watch those things closely um, let's take a look at our VIX interestingly enough in our VIX yesterday we popped up pretty strongly although we tried to stay very very bullish in the market we saw that little bit of fear starting to creep up and I've been talking about the fact that we're very very complacent um, in the market just super confidence overall you know um, with the idea that everything is great and the Fed's not going to keep rates higher and all kinds of things in here but um, big pop up here yesterday um, doesn't mean anything necessarily because we didn't break you know um, break any of these uh, trends in here so significantly that it would be a major worry. What would be the concern today is if the the data comes in uh, um, and inspires the bears um, and follows through on this to the upside, that could raise some concern. We'd start pushing up into these resistance areas in the chart. Um, as we start feeling a little bit more fear. However, if the bulls get good information today and um, we can see that, um, easily see that happiness come back into the market and worries drop pretty quickly, I would suggest the possibility we retest those lows and maybe even make new lows um, over the next couple of days if our inflation data comes in weaker than expected. Um, let's take a look at our um, T20s here. Um, T2122, yesterday when we opened, we ended up opening, I better go to a daily, we ended up opening clear up here. In fact, we were at 97 and change up here yesterday on the gap up open. And then we started that fade back, particularly after that, that in, uh, New York survey that showed um, price expectations going higher and we saw um, the market then kind of pull back and drift back to the backside nothing terrible here though we were pretty soft on that move the the bears weren't really all that inspired so if we get good positive data today there's no reason to believe at all why we couldn't be right back up here 
um, with a good push in the pre-market um, if that PPI data supports the bulls. However, if it comes out supporting the bears and because of the extension that we've had in the market, I couldn't rule out a pretty substantial move to the downside as well. Now, I'm not suggesting we would come all the way down here in one fell swoop, but it could be a little bit painful because we have um, so extended this run to the upside, this all or nothing market, making these big whipsaws possible. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at our T2108, uh, our T21 came in a little bit on the flat side yesterday. So nothing terrible here at all. You can see the bears didn't really have any energy at all. We did come back down. We're getting closer to this 50% area in the chart, as you can see. So if the bears were to find um, inspiration here, I wouldn't be all that surprised to see us dip below there. And maybe we'll start coming in here progressively and moving down towards some of these support levels in the chart. Um, if that were to be the case. If the bulls were to find inspiration here today, well, a pop-up off of here wouldn't be a major surprise on that. In fact, I would suggest that if the inflation data comes in much better than expected, we'll see a pretty substantial um, emotional move here to the upside, and we'll start breaking into resistance areas here in the chart and trying to push this right back up. Our T2107, um, has been holding up really, really well. And you can see yesterday it even turned higher. So once again, there was just no major bearish move, even despite that, that number that added some worry on inflation, um, still pushed up here in T2107. So if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration in the data today, pushing on up into these levels would not be at all out of the question. I would watch those closely. And of course, if the bears were to find inspiration, then we would start looking for these breaks to start coming down here, testing some of these support levels. Um, it doesn't get ugly here unless we drop below a 50% area here in T2107. So not any particular worry there at the moment. And then T2101, well, T2101 showed us what um, happened yesterday. We had that big bullish move uh, first thing in the morning, that big gap up. And then, yeah, drifting back down, breath really dried up in the market. We saw um, really a lot of weakness on both the bullish and bearish side. Just no um, energy, pretty lethargic. Shouldn't have been a major surprise. But watching that closely here for today, this is going to be all about what that PPI does. And I could see that PPI um, driving um this breadth higher but it could be on um, a bearish wave even if the number comes in um hot on inflation i would see the bears really see the possibility the bears could really engage and really start to throw some energy toward it here on breadth to the upside and the same would be true on the on the bullish side if we get a number that really supports the bulls then we could really see that breadth pick up and that corporate buyback activity really start to engage here to the upside with some strong buying. So watch carefully for that possibility. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. And of course our economic calendar is what we've been talking about here all morning. Everything's going to hinge on um, this number here in the PPI. Um, if we take a look at what consensus is suggesting, um, they're suggesting month over month that we're going to go um, up from a 0.2 to a 0.3 in year over year to 2.2 from 2.1. We remove food and energy here, and they're saying we stay flat at 2.2 and um, we actually decline one tenth on the year over the year so yeah um, watch those closely those are pretty small margins in there to be watching um, and if we um, see that inflation heating up um, i would expect the bears to be a little bit um, harsh 
um, overall. NFIB Small Business Optimism Index is already in this morning and notice that it came up a little bit, 89.7. So small business is suggesting that things are improving here just a tiny little bit. So keep an eye on that. And then um, later on, we're going to hear from Cook and then the, the big guy himself, uh, Jerome Powell, will be speaking here at 10 a.m. Eastern time. After that, we've got um, a, a bill auction here and then we've got Schmidt will be reporting or um, talking at 8.15 this evening. Um, looking into Wednesday, we've got a big day coming into Wednesday. We're going to get our CPI report, our retail sales numbers, Empire State, business inventories, housing market index, petroleum numbers. We're going to hear from Kashkari and Bauman and then um, we'll have a bond auction in here um, excuse me a bill auction and then of course um, we're going to have our treasury statement um, after the bell so yeah watch watch those things closely it'll be a busy day on uh, wednesday so be prepared for that Let's take a look at our um, economic, or excuse me, earnings calendar here for today. In our earnings calendar, we do have um, some important reports here this morning. First off, um, we've got Home Depot. Home Depot um, looking a little bit lower here this morning. They missed on their earnings. You can see a little bit of seesawing here on Home Depot. Um, as um, we're waiting for the open on that, but a little bit of disappointment there. Um, Baba, Baba has just come out with a um, decline in sales by 86%. So Baba showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning. We're also going to hear from IHS this morning. We're going to hear from IGT. We've got uh, Jack in the Box that we'll be reporting on Semiconductor. We've got um, our USHA that we'll be reporting, SE, SFL, SD, HC here, whoops, SD, HC, there we go, will be reporting this morning. These are the notables that I have down for today. If you want to catch the full list of notables that will include all of those after the bell today, if you could do me that favor and that would be click that uh, button just below the title of the video um, and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today, but before we do that, everyone if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that quick favor that would be leave a brief comment remember even an emoji counts um, for engagement with the video. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And it really helps out in supporting the effort that it takes to put these videos out every day. So thank you so much for your kind support. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, folks, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market, realizing that whatever this number is this morning, it could change everything. We could be extremely bullish, extremely bearish all at once. And that's going to set us up for tomorrow for another big inflation number that can keep that volatility going here in the market. So whatever you decide to do, um, make sure you try not to over trade this market because it, it could be very, very dangerous overall. And um, you don't want to be, you know, stepping right in front of a locomotive, um, playing chicken um, with the locomotive. Let's um, remember that these stocks are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence, follow your risk tolerances and your rules for um, for trading. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, as you guys know, yesterday I made some mention here on 
um, some of our commodity things, corn. Corn actually shot up yesterday and then ended up pulling back here just a little bit, but you'll notice that we're we're looking a little bit higher here this morning on our food commodities. So keep an eye on corn, uh, keep an eye on wheat, still showing lots of strength. Now this has more than just um, currency issues and strong and weak dollar um, in effect. Um, we're seeing wheat prices go up pretty dramatically because of the effects of what's going on in Ukraine. They are a huge wheat producer and um, are really starting to push things up there um, in the market. Take a look at um, um, soybeans here. Soybeans could be setting up a pretty nice upside opportunity. Nice little pullback, found support, tried to bounce yesterday. Keep an eye on that if this can follow through. Now, I would not be at all surprised if this needs to rest just a little bit more. So there's our upside trend. So if it has to rest a little bit more, just wait on that potential trade. Um, another one that um, I've been talking about here and continues to follow through to the upside, this is natural gas breaking through. And if um, breaking above that uh, downtrend in here, it held in there for just a few days and continue to move to the upside. I do think that's worth paying attention to. We're above our 50 day moving average in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. So any rest consolidation or pullback could set up that next opportunity for that to move to the upside. And we keep a pretty close eye on UNG. You might also wanna be just taking um, a look at some of the um, uh, financials here. Financials um, have been incredibly strong, moving to the upside as if none of these uh, things going on in the market are affecting our major banks. Um, you can see yesterday left us with a little bit of a bearish engulfing candle in there, very near this resistance level in the chart. Now, I'm not suggesting this is going to fall out of bed and make new lows or anything like that, but I would be a little bit careful and cautious after such a big run that this may now consolidate, might just move sideways in here, or could rest. Um, and what we get out of these economic data numbers over the next couple of days could really have an impact here on our currencies. So watch that carefully here in the financials. Um, I'd also keep an eye on any of our regionals. Now our regionals are setting up here in a very, very bullish pattern, uh, pushing through some resistance here, like there, um, uh, there's no issue with this commercial real estate issue at all, um, but there is and we're seeing more of these impacts um, potentially um, just around the corner. So as we push up here, watch this carefully, we could have that um, extension on through to the upside, but I also wouldn't be all that surprised if the next shoe drops here in some way on those financials and we get that push back to the downside. So keep an eye on KRE. We would also wanna keep an eye on some of the pay systems out there. Um, right now, Visa looking very good, pushing back up through this downtrend. Now we can see we can move up there pretty quickly and deal with the trend and then just drop hard. But the way this is looking in Visa, nice little climb back up here. If we can get up into here and hold, I would keep an eye on that opportunity that that could move on higher here in Visa. Remember, d despite the fact that we're, we're trying to ignore it here in the market, we're also seeing credit card defaults moving up pretty sharply here um, overall and um, consumers being really stressed here in the market. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. But we see um, MasterCard. MasterCard also climbing up above its downtrend. Um, AXP, American Express, has been very, very strong, looking really good. So all kinds of bullishness here, but a little bit of a dark um, um, bearish engulfing candle coming in there yesterday. We might see a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of rest here in that chart. Take a look at our energy. Um, energy um, has rallied back up to the resistance level here in the chart, and there's quite a mix of things going on here. We have stocks like uh, PSX that have really come back down here and showing bearish patterns. Take a look at 
Exxon Mobil showing that possibility that we can fail in here. Um, we've got Halliburton in here rallying up to that downtrend showing a little bearishness coming in and that possibility that we can just continue to follow these downtrends here in the chart. And yet at the same time, we have all this uncertainty and demand issues um, starting to come up um, in the market. If you remember our last reading on petroleum status is a decline in supplies. So we'll have to watch this pretty carefully. These um, have that potential that they could go either way really quickly here in the market. Um, defensive sector stocks. I'm going to continue to talk about these even though they are very extended in the short term and probably need a rest, but we can see defensive sector areas of the chart. Those old boring consumer staple kind of things really picking up here. Coke, um, we've got Pepsi looking good. Um, um, We've got um, Kerrig Dr. Pepper in a nice little consolidation bullish pattern breaking through the resistance here in the chart. Um, MDLZ, Mondelez um, in a bullish pattern trying to break on higher here. So keep an eye on some of those kind of old boring stocks, even things like AT&T. Um, good strong dividend payers, AT&T coming up, worth keeping an eye on. Now Verizon. Um, not um, quite as good a chart as you can see, um, possibly running into some resistance that could turn back into downtrend. But if this pushes up in here and holds some of these, you know, good, strong dividend paying companies um, might be um, a little bit of a safety haven if we happen to see um, those inflationary numbers come in on the bearish side. So be kind of careful here. With that, everyone, I want to wish you a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Appreciate it very, very much. Um, be careful, be safe. And as always, I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Keep an eye on that data point um, this morning and expect some volatility today. Could be all over the map and your guess is as good as mine as to which way it goes. So, with that, wish you all the best, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.